Hello guys and girls. Well, thanks for watching this video. This is Trisha Gayla with a Hollywood story that is in retrospective a bit funny. Um, also really to be honest a bit sad it's about you know like erotic I don't know <laughs> not at all not really erotic but more like sexual harassment or molestation I don't know it was weird anyway it taught me a lesson and I tell you about that at the end what the lesson was but um, yes I lived in North Sycamore Avenue uh, like I said the first street that crossed Hollywood Boulevard and um, and the janitor of a house was called Mr. Dominguez. Now Mr. Dominguez had the biggest hands in the history of humanity. <laughs> he really did. <laughs> I'm not kidding. He's had hands like you wouldn't believe. I mean like the Guinness Book of World Records would have taken him in a minute. Just measure them. You know, he's in there. So um, my uncle always said he has hands <laughs> like like toilet seats because they was just so big, you know. Anyway, so he was usually a very nice man. I mean, he was in his early 80s and my grandpa died a few years prior and I kind of looked at him like a, a grandfather figure, you know. He's had a wife his age and children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Like I said, in his early 80s, I was like, what, 19, 20, something like that. So, and when you're that age, you don't think that a man that is over 80 still is interested in something sexual. Wrong. Uh, anyway, so something broke in our apartment in the kitchen, plumbing. So we called him and he came and I was alone. I watched MTV and he came in and fixed the plumbing. And when he was finished, he walked into the living room to tell me that he is done. Well, he was done. So, um, yeah. At that moment, a ballad was playing on MTV and uh, he stretched out his hand and asked me to dance. And I thought, oh, why not dance with this old man? You know, he's so nice and, you know, dance with him. So, I mean, he did, of course, the old-fashioned dancing, like, you know, this one. So he had me pretty close and I just started to feel uncomfortable, really. You know, very strange. And his head was like that, and his huge hand covered my upper back first. <laughs> huge hand, it's just unbelievable. And um, you know, we were dancing, and he was a quite good dancer. I mean, at his age, he was really fit. I mean, he danced with me through that living room. I thought I was like, you know, Fred Astaire. He was Fred Astaire, and I was Ginger Rogers or something. It was really nice, you know. In the beginning I laughed and I really had a good time. And then I started to feel that huge hand slide down my back. Very slowly. And it reached like, you know, well, my upper behind. And um, I thought, what the hell? What is he doing? I, I couldn't believe it. You know, I, it was like, it was like so strange, you know. Uh, then I thought, you know, with those kind of hands, maybe he collects behinds for Kim Kardashian so she can grow hers. Just kidding, I like Kim. <laughs> just just kidding. <laughs> no, but seriously. And, you know, after that, just a few seconds later, his entire hand covered my behind, really seriously. I mean, covered it. It was gone. You know, just, I've never, those kind of hands, they were like unbelievable. My behind was gone and I'm in shock. His lips started to touch my neck and I'm like, you know, imagine. I mean, that could have been my great-grandfather age-wise. He was over 60 years old, 65 years older than I was. You know, I didn't even know that, you know, they've had interest in that, like I said. And I didn't know what to do. You push him away or something. What are you doing? You know, I didn't want to hurt him or something. So, uh, thank God, at that moment, my uncle walked in the apartment and we had a hallway. He didn't see that, what, he, what Mr. Dominguez did. So, Mr. Dominguez stepped back. And I'm like, going like I've got to go to my room. I've got to go to my room. <laughs> and now I'm in my room, locking the door, you know. And I thought, like, what? 
what? What did just happen? You know, I mean, I did not tell my uncle right away because I knew he would have just bashed his head in. I'm serious. So I'm like, I kept quiet for a while until we moved out and he did not have the chance to really go and get him that fast. So, but I was in shock and it taught me the lesson that no matter how old a man is, you know, if he has tendencies like that, they will stay. They will stay. I mean, you know, that a, a grandfather figure or great grandfather figure makes a pass at you at a girl my age. I mean, that is sad, to be honest. Maybe he kind of like forgot himself. Maybe, you know, later on he regretted that. I'm sure he did. I hope he did. Well, now he's not with us anymore, I'm sure, but um, I, I'm sure he regretted that, that, that he kind of like went too far. But honestly, I, like I said, try to look at it with a laughing eye, but uh, it's kind of a bit weird. But those hands were like, wow. Like I said, he collected butts for Kim Kardashian. I'm telling you. You know, so, well, the, all of our butts must go somewhere. No, I, I really, I like him. I really like her. Don't, don't rip me apart. I like her very much. So anyway, uh, yeah. I have to say it. Subscribe to my channel, please. Become part of my internet family. Leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, click the notification bell. And uh, take care of yourself. Send you lots of love. See you soon.